man, I'm like a sliver away from leveling up. Wow, look at this. Looks fantastic. spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire says. I can respect that. You know, despite the um, general kind of isolationist, xenophobic attitude of the Stormcloaks, I can respect that you don't want to give up worshipping Talos. That is kind of a raw deal. No joke, you guys, in all my time playing Skyrim, I've actually never been in this temple. I kid you not. It's the first time I've ever been in here. I don't think I knew it existed until I saw it on the wiki. <laughs> I was looking up Windhelm, and I was like, oh, crap, there's a temple there? Because really, it's a very nondescript door. Like You wouldn't know that like, there's nothing that indicates what that is. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Right, where were we going? Lunch. Oh crap, I was gonna eat lunch in there. Ah, forget it. Damn it. Alright, and I let's just sit down here by the fire and eat some lunch, huh? Lunch time. Some wine. Some bread. We're almost out of bread. Some cheese. An apple. And something with some bite to it. Salmon steak, yeah. Right. Okay. Let's... You know, we have two choices here. We can go talk to the Jarl about those bandits that are attacking non-Nords, and he's not doing a damn thing about it. Or we could go confront this Aratino boy and try to convince him not to... Um, not to bring the Dark Brotherhood here. Let's do that first, because that seems a little bit more pressing. Like, if the Dark Brotherhood's on its way, Anayag's not going to stay here very long. What is this then? Novice. Ho oh ho! We bought that lock. Oh wait, I got it quick, quick keyed. But that's. But I think I do. I thought I did. No. Nope. Apparently, I did not. Alteration? No. Uh, where is it? Oh, crap. Where's the open lock? It's gone. Shitballs. How the hell did that happen? How the hell did that happen? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, you... These locks, man. This... this oof, oof, I've had so many problems with this lock problem. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Crap. Alright, you know what, everyone? Just, just hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. Alright, everyone. The open lock spell is just fucking gone. I have no idea how that happened. And I'm not going to sort it out right now. So, cheating. Sorry. Right. Oh, come on. Console. There we go. There we go. I'm not uh, too familiar with the... I'll sort out the open lock spell thing later. I just... I'm so fed up with the open lock 
business. Um, oh, very tired. Anyway, I didn't just console command that. Crawl, you old crone. You'll get I uh, used my Mr. spell. Brotherhood will see to that. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? This is sweet mother, weird. Sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins Whoa. of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. And I give one chance to just leave this house. Die, Grilla, die! You could just go. Sweet mother, sweet mother, what send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be Master Aventus Aretino. Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak wishes to express his deepest sympathies at the death of your mother, Nalia. Unfortunately, because you were fatherless and have no other known relations, the Jarl cannot allow you to remain in your home unsupervised. Therefore, in no more than a week's time, you will report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, where you will reside until your 16th birthday. The Aretino family home in the city of Windhelm will, of course, remain your property. The building will be securely locked and ready for your return six years hence. Note that I am unsure of the education provided to you by your recently deceased mother, or if you possess the ability to read the letter I am currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will call upon you in one week at your home and provide escort to the orphanage. Hopefully, his arrival will not come as a complete shock. With greatest respect, your leaf. Steward to our most noble Jarl, Ulfric Stormcloak. Mm. Blood and fear. So that's some what this kid's dealing with. Okay, Grow well, on, and now he's got kind of a soft spot for kids, even if they're weird. So she's sweet gonna. Mother, sweet she's mother, gonna, send your child unto me for the sins of the unworthy must be okay. in blood and fear. Um, excuse me. You've come at last. I knew you would. Ah. Uh? It worked. I knew you'd come. I just knew it. I did the black sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. I'm not that. Of course you are. I prayed, and you I'm came. I'm actually like and now you'll accept as my close contract. to the opposite of that as you can get. What? My mother, she, she died. I, I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call the Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you can this kill God the kind. He's really into the Black Sacrament. Oh, Christ. Uh. I'm sorry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Nope, not gonna read that. Uh, not even gonna touch this stuff. Jesus Christ, kid. Okay, look. I am not a member of the Dark Brotherhood. I don't want you contacting the Dark Brotherhood. I don't want them anywhere near this place, this town, nothing. How about this? I will go check out this situation with Grella the Kind in Riften. And... something. I can't promise you anything, but I'll check it out. So, just stop. Stop doing the Black Sacrament. Just... Stay there. Just stay there. And you got some food that'll last you a week. I'll be back in a week. No more than a week. No more than a week. Don't do any more Black Sacraments. Christ. Ugh, okay. Alright, and I just play it cool. You just ran into a kid doing a crazy daedric ritual. I have no problem with orcs, but that stronghold they've got in the southeast, not so Well, we've talked to one crazy person today. Let's go meet the Jarl, shall we? dinner time already. Ulfric won't give a 
us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgroth a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our army. <coughs> we're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. I guess well, kind of realizing she probably shouldn't be in here. Why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, Maybe we'll go stand next to this guy. Why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. For the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer. <coughs> I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. I. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. <clears throat> uh, hi. I am nobody, but I wanted to talk to you about some bandits that are attacking non-Nords in your province. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Uh, we haven't met, and I was at Helgen, but I don't know why he would find that interesting. Um, I have seen Helgen. Hmm? Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. I think you are mistaken. Um, I... Boy, this is some creative role-playing on the fly here. Uh, no, I think you've confused me for somebody else. A fair point. <laughs> no, well, not quite right. Come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. About I'm always looking what? for able fighters. No, 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 no. Not the bandits. Everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. <sighs> Seems we're all branded villains these days. No, there are real villains so long that as need. your criminal past <sighs> stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll welcome you into our ranks. I don't want to join your ranks. I just wanted to ask you if you could send some... Oh, forget it. Uh, there's an army of bandits out there attacking non-Nords, and you don't give a flying crap. You're too involved in this goddamn war. All right. All right, all right, all right. Clearly he confused us for somebody else.
Nag has to do everything on her own. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Fight the dragon. Find the bandits that are attacking everyone except Nords. Right. Right, right, right. Get the Dark Brotherhood off your back. <laughs> All right, well, it's dinner time, so. Spare a coin for a poor old woman. Sorry, I'm a little bit strapped for cash as it is. Let's, um, let's uh, eat some dinner and we'll do a little reading and go to bed, I think. Tomorrow will be the day that we head out to um, find the Atronach stone, I think. And maybe if it's on the way, we'll take care of these bandits. Because apparently the Jarl will not be doing it. It's going to be a nice job. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. That Brunwolf free winter, though, a nag likes him. She thinks that he's ten times the leader that Ulfric is. Are you joking? You just rented oh, a right, room right, from right, me. Right, 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 right. That's going to be the theme of this let's Enjoy play, I think, stay. is Anag accidentally re-renting rooms and not being able to do it. And she always gets in at 2 a.m. Right. Some dinner. Just eating our rooms here. Ale and one bottled water. The last of our bread. Some goat cheese. Uh, apple. And a salmon steak. Okay. Good food. Good food. Right. Alright, let's do a little more reading. Again, this will be the very end of a video, so if you want to skip to the end and go to the next video, you will not miss any... Um, what's the word? What the hell? It's right... Okay, suddenly it became unlearned again. Whatever. 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 I know to check next time if it's not my list go check the unlearned spells thing it's kind of weird if i have to read it every time but whatever it's fine it works right like i said skip to the end you won't miss any gameplay if you don't want to listen to me read uh so the lore compendium compendium on men drink of water uh, again this is from the wanderer which is a mod made by the maker of the Elder Scrolls, uh, sorry, the Elder Lore podcast. So check it out. You can Google it and find it. He's he's awesome and he does a great job with it. Can't plug it enough. The Races of Nern on Men. The Lore Compendium, compiled by Carrot Goswin. This guide begins with a discussion about the various creation myths and religious beliefs of the people of Nern. Before we can even begin, however, we need to make sure we are well acquainted with the wonderfully varied races of Nern. A lot of different terms will be thrown around in this guide, and it is important that we are all on the same page as we move forward. Most of the sentient races of Nern fall into one of two categories, man or mare. The races of men are mostly descended from Nedic tribesmen that dotted the landscape of Tamriel in the Dawn Era. The Myrrh the name the elves gave themselves, are all descendants of the Aldmer who came to Tamriel during the Merithic era. Both groups evolved over long periods of time in these earliest eras and have become varied races in their own rights. They are described in detail here. The precursors of the modern man was, as previously mentioned, the Needs. It is believed that the closest modern relatives of the Needs are the Imperials, also known as the Cyrodiils, or more specifically, those of Nibbanese descent. Cyrodiils These native men of the Nibbanese region fell on hard times when the elves began, to move, began moving eastward from Somerset Isle. The elves that built their empire in the Nibbanese region, who called themselves the Aeliads, also known as the Ancient Ones, Wild Elves, Heartland High Elves, would build one of the largest empires in the sprawling history of Tamriel. They soon subjugated and enslaved the Nedic tribes of the region and, it is rumored, tortured them for their own amusement. Eventually, two centuries into the First Era, the Needs would rally around a girl named Alessia, sometimes referred to as Queen or Saint Alessia, 
Al-Esh, al Ashut, was bestowed the title of Paravant, meaning the first, which became lead to the names Perif and Paravanya, and win freedom. These Alessian tribes stayed in the region after the Aliots were pushed out, and are now called the Imperials. Bretons of Hyrock. Read closely, and I listen. There were Nidic tribes all over Tamriel, including the western province we now know as Hyrock. These early tribes were already living in the region when the elves reached the shores of Tamriel during the First Era. There were long periods of peace between these two races, but the elves definitely viewed the needs as being lower than themselves. Regardless, intermarriage and interbreeding between the men and the elves led to a hybrid race, now known as the Bretons. They are considered men, but from their elven lineage they derive a higher aptitude with magic and a distinguishing physical appearance. Nords of Atmora While the Imperials and Bretons evolved from tribes in Tamriel, the Nords traced their lineage from the northern continent of Atmora, likely a corruption of Altmora, an elvish word meaning elder wood. Ancient Nordic le legends refer to Atmora as being a green and prosperous place until the freezing, which turned the continent into an inhospitable wasteland plagued by infighting and civil war. Eventually, following the great chieftain Isgrimor, the Nords started their migration south to settle in the northern provinces of Tamriel. Yokudans and the Red Guards Yokuda is, or was, an island continent far to the west of Tamriel. It supposedly sank into the ocean in the First Era, forcing the dark-skinned Yokudan people to sail eastward to find a new home. Like the Nords, they eventually found Tamriel. Yokudan knowledge and culture is usually spoken of very highly, as they were very advanced in their studies of astrology, agriculture, art, politics, philosophy, and martial arts. They settled in Hammerfell around the year 1E808, and became known to the residents of Tamriel as the Red Guards. And that's the end of that book. So, uh, thank you again for joining me, everyone, for Let's Roleplay Skyrim. This has been Pem giving you a tour of Whiterun. Uh, sorry, that was like 20 videos ago. Tour of Windhelm and some nice little reading. Uh, so, until next time. Nice long lion. Yeah, sure. Until next time, um, be well, and I hope you'll join us again when I do this next and I hope I get that goddamn open lock spell figured out there that's it thank you good night